Good morning, thanks for joining us for another Facebook Live video. I'm Dr. Jeff Marksbury, Chief Science and Clinical Officer for AlphaStem. Uh, so this is the third in our series of Facebook Live videos. So far to this point, we've done a video on how to use AlphaStem electrodes to treat pain. Uh, we also did a video on how to use the smart probes to treat shoulder and cervical pain. So today with our uh, patient Travis here, we're gonna treat the knee and also show you how to treat some lower back pain. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure you have your device set up. So we wanna just show our settings and what we're going with here. So we have our device uh, set up to treat with the smart probes. We have the probes and the electrodes plugged in. We have our smart probes here. A um, Couple things about the device. We wanna make sure we're on 0 0.5 Hertz. That's our frequency. We always use that for the probes. We're on our 10 second timer, which is the timer set up to the far left. Uh, so a quick 10 seconds and we'll hear the beep every time we touch the skin. It's gonna give us that beep to start the timer. It's gonna give us another beep at the end of the 10 seconds when we're done. And then our intensity is gonna be all the way up to six on the dial. If you remember the last one, we treated some cervical pain as we get closer to the neck and to the ears, we may wanna turn that level down. Um, but for Travis, since we're treating the neck and the extremities more, his lower back, uh, the level six should be fine. He'll feel very, very little when he does that, okay? So first we're gonna start with Travis's knee here. So we're gonna assume Travis has some left knee pain. If you've seen our animations or if you have the four step protocol sheet um, from AlphaStem, we're gonna do basically the same steps. So have you pull up your shorts just a little bit higher there, yeah. So we're assuming Travis has some, some type of uh, knee pain, knee injury here. So you hear it beep, so we're doing 10 seconds. So the first step is our large X. So we just go lateral to medial, and then we're just gonna switch that when we go across the knee here. So the main thing is that your current is directed right through his pain. Um, so 10 seconds on each for the large X. We're gonna move in closer. We're gonna say Travis's pain is just below his kneecap. Maybe he's got some meniscal tear or something like that. So right in here. So we're gonna focus, our second step's our small start. So again, we're gonna focus our current so it's traveling right through that area, just below the kneecap. We're gonna do several locations in this treat right through that area. Now the location here isn't um, too specific. As long as you're directing the current again right through that level, um, of the knee where he indicated his pain was. You don't have to know the anatomy or physiology or even why he has pain. We're just treating a three, a three, three four spots right through that area. Okay. One of the more successful spots you have when you treat through the knee is front to back also. So the palpatil fossa, this area right behind the knee, it's an anatomical depression and you can get some really good results going from anterior to posterior when you do that. Okay. So now that's our small star. Remember step three is treating the opposite side even though there's no pain on the opposite side. So we still wanna address the opposite side for Travis. Um, treating the opposite side goes back to our acupuncture or Western medicine where you do address both sides. So this also relaxes muscles. So when you relax muscles, especially those accessory muscles around your joints, your uh, ankle, your shoulder, your knee, you really wanna address both sides. So we just do a quick 20 seconds to address that. And then we'll hit our last step, which is our most important step, which is connecting the two sides. So put those together there. And then we're just gonna mirror what we do on the right and left. So as we're mirroring this, the main point here is to be distal to where your pain is. So we're below where Travis's pain was. So if we think anatomically, the current's now traveling through the pain across the sacral plexus and spinal cord and down the other side. Um, this is also important if someone's got bilateral knee pain, now you're going through both knees, so they'll get relief on both sides. If Travis does not have any pain on the opposite side, it's not as important where you treat the opposite side, but we're, we're just mirroring those just for consistency's sake this time. Okay. I'll do one more here on the interior. While you're treating there, um, Mary has asked, where did you get the probes from? The VA issues the unit with the ear clips and electrode pads, no probes. I would have Mary to call in to our customer service department. Um, Nicole's our government services manager and she could help you uh, determine why you didn't get probes. Maybe it was a mistake with the device. Maybe they just don't issue those, um, but we can still get you probes. If you have an Alpha Stem M and you can use the electrodes, then you can definitely use the probes with that device. So it is set up to do that. So Mary, um, there are two different models of AlphaStim. There's the AlphaStim M and the AlphaStim Aid. 
Um, the Alpha Stim Aid treats anxiety, insomnia, and depression and comes with ear clips only. Um, the Alpha Stim M uh, treats with also probes and electrodes for pain, as well as um, the ear clips for anxiety, insomnia, and depression. So we've gone through our basic two minute protocol. We did our big X, small star, treat the opposite sides, and then we connect to the two sides. So that would be what we call our initial setup. So the first thing we would have done was ask Travis his pain zero to 10. Um, let's say hypothetically he had a six out of 10. We do our two minutes and maybe he's down to a three or four. So it's helped a little bit but we're not completely done. So the next step would be to ask him to put one finger on the worst location of pain, indicate as much as he could. So put it, pick a spot there, okay? So wherever he puts his finger, we're gonna put a probe there, we're gonna leave it stationary. The other probe, and I'm gonna do a shortcut here for time's sake, but the other probe, we're just gonna move around 10 seconds at a time. Different areas, again, posterior is a good one. A couple lateral, a couple medial, and you're just gonna treat right along his knee just directing that current right through that worst location. So again, if you think anatomically, we're just going right through his knee in different angles, hoping to hit the nerve that's involved. <clears throat> Do that for one minute. We'll have Travis stand up, move around, flex the knee, and he'll give us another evaluation zero to 10. Typically at that point, um, we've made a really good increase in this pain. Um, I would think it would be to a one, a two level. At that point, if that's the only place you're treating, we'd have him put the ear clips on for 20 minutes. He would sit quietly while he's reading or watching TV, put those ear clips on, and that would help bring his pain down also. And that also helps his relief last longer. So with the probes, one of the things that we indicate is how long you're gonna have relief. Um, our window of relief is around 12 hours on the short end of the spectrum and around 48 hours with the long end. Um, what we do know is it's cumulative. So even if Travis got 12 hours of relief, that short end of the spectrum, with the next treatment he used the probes, he would get more like 18, 24, 48 and so on. So you get to a point where you only need it every couple days. Okay. So Travis can have you stand up and take your shirt off. We're going to treat his back now. So one of the more common questions we get is treating back pain. Obviously that's very common. So we're going to pick a location with Travis here. Where we're going to say he's got some pain on the right side, just in this level. So you don't have to know vertebral levels or anything like that if you just know where his pain is. So uh, we're going to say it's right in this area. Okay, so again, our first step is a large X, so we're gonna go from hip to shoulder. So we're still directing the current right across that pain. And we're gonna do that for 10 seconds. And then you're gonna complete your X. So when we treat the back, because it's such a large anatomical area, we do try to treat the entire muscle as well. So we're treating the traps and the deltoids, wherever you're at, you wanna treat the entire muscle as much as you can. So this really brings into the, the entire anatomy here. So have you turn, turn sideways for me. So the other thing we want to do is an X um, or small star, right? So this is sort of an X pattern. So what we do here is go on the right side of Travis's back, right where he indicated his pain was, and on the opposite side of his abdomen. So we're going right through the spine. So we'll do this for 10 seconds. And then we're going to switch. We're going to go left abdomen, excuse me, left back and right abdomen. So we're just going to go right here across. And now we've made an X pattern, okay? So we did this X pattern at the level where he indicated his pain was, okay? Then we're just gonna go a vertebrae level or an inch or two above it and then below it also. So we're gonna do a total of three. So we'll go right back, this is already indicated. I'm just gonna go slightly above it. We'll do our 10 seconds and then we'll switch sides. We have a couple of questions. Um, Laura has asked if this would be helpful for a lumbar compression fracture. And Katie has asked um, if she can use it for chronic lower back pain um, also. Yes, in both cases. Um, the pain, as far as we're, as we're concerned, when we treat pain, it doesn't matter as much the etiology why you have the pain. If it's lumbar fracture, um, if it's musculoskeletal, if it's um, CRPS, if it's any type of injury, you can still get good relief. So now we're doing our X below where Travis indicated. Um, and you can use it for chronic pain. Now the key to know is with anything with pain management is we're not treating the injury, we're treating the pain. So we're managing that pain. That doesn't mean you can go out and do squats or run a marathon, you still have that injury. So we do, we do wanna be cognizant of that, but you can use this to treat um, chronic pain, acute pain, or whatever the case may be. So you can see almost our spots here where we treated our X's. So we treated through the pain, um, above it and below it with our X, and we're gonna do the same thing laterally. So we're gonna go side to side through Travis's obliques here, right where the pain is, 
And then we're going to do, again, one level above and one level below. And this is um, a generalization. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, we have young people. My daughter will use this to treat her ankles if she sprains an ankle or growing pains or whatever the case is. So you don't have to be exact with your anatomy as long as you're directing that current through the pain. That's the main thing. Okay, so we treated at the level laterally. We went above. Now we'll go below. So again, three spots right through his back. And that would conclude our basic protocol for the back. Okay, we did our large X across the entire back. We treated our X's through the pain above it and below it. And then we went laterally through there above and below. So now again, we would have asked Travis what his pain was zero to 10 when we started. Um, let's say he was an eight out of 10. He's got some really severe pain. We've done our protocol. He's down to a four now. So he had pretty good relief. It cut it in half. But we're not completely done. Again, this is the point where I'd say, you know, indicate with one finger, where's your worst area of pain? And let's say he just says, again, kind of right there what he indicated before. We're going to put one probe there and leave it stationary. And we're going to move the other probe all the way around his abdomen. So 10 seconds here, and I'm going to move it. Go ahead and move it, but we're just going to go all the way around the body and then switch sides here. So we're treating right through there, 10 seconds at a time. So we'll get that nice fan that area right through his worst indicated pain 10, 10 seconds at a time um, you can also go across the body in different ways too as long as you're treating right where he indicated um, once that added step that takes you about another minute you really only into the treatment about three to four minutes again this point i would ask him what his pain level is have him move around flex the back um, you'll usually see them looking it's almost like they're looking for the pain they'll bend they'll flex in different ways to try to um, exacerbate it um, but they have pretty good relief. This works um, as often as you need to. So if you have pain and it comes back, you're definitely welcome to use this. Again, you can't overuse it. You can't harm yourself with it. So um, use the probes as often as you need to with your chronic pain. Um, if you have any other troubles with that, you're always welcome to call in. Uh, give us a call on clinical support or customer service, and we'll help you as much as we can. Um, any other questions or anything we need? We, we um, Dr. Marksbury, Vonda has asked, how would you treat shoulder pain? Do you mm -hmm. mind showing us quickly? Sure. Um, so the shoulder pain, we're going to do the same type of protocol. Um, we're going to treat our large X. I'm going to turn it off here just so we can see the locations. We do have another Facebook Live video where we go through it a little more in detail as well. If you can catch that. But we're going to do our large X 10 seconds at a time. Okay. Um, depending on where his pain is located, we're going to treat sort of our star. We're going to focus it right through that joint front to back, okay? Our side to side, going across the body or going across the spine. In this case, we would have Travis hold his hands up here and we would treat fingertips. So 10 seconds at a time on each finger. Boom, 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 boom. And anatomically, that goes through your median, ulnar, brachial nerve. So you'll see your brachial plexus as well. So current's going up through the arm, through the shoulder, through the brachial plexus and across the spine. So anatomically, we hit all those nerves that would innervate your shoulder that would also cause the pain. Okay. So that again is going to take you about two minutes. If you have more pain, if it's still at an elevated level, find that one spot that's really bad and keep a probe right there. Move your other probe around 10 seconds at a time. Across the body as well, we can go across there. And then reevaluate at that point. Um, usually have good relief. You put the ear clips on for 20 minutes. You treat the peripheral area the central by going across the spine and the central by treating the brain with the ear clips. So we've hit all three areas of the nervous system there. And then you covered this um, in the beginning, but Steve has asked, mm -hmm. typically and in your clinical experience, how long will relief continue after the treatment procedure? So our typical relief with the very first time you do this, so this is Travis's first treatment, let's say, um, he's got some serious pain, we treat his shoulder, he has good relief. I would expect anywhere from 12 to 48 hours of relief. Um, the good news is, if it, even if it's on the short end, it's cumulative with continued use. So we'd have him use the probes again, he'd get more like 24 or 36 hours the next time, and it would build from there. Um, definitely adding the ear clips after your probe treatment increases that uh, duration as well. So you get better relief overall, and the results will last longer. Um, you can use the probes, PRN, as often as you need to. So when the pain comes back, you use the probes. The other good tip to know is, once you're out of pain, if Travis was down to zero now, there's no more reason to touch and treat and do things because you relax muscles. Um, those accessory muscles start to wake up where you've been compensating for the pain. So you can actually get some muscle stiffness, things like that if you keep treating. So once you're out of pain, you're done. Put on the ear clips and you got a happy patient. Great, and if anyone has any questions, um, please do feel free to give us a call at 1-800-4-PAIN. 
um, and our clinical support team will be happy to assist you um, in whatever way we can. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Marksberry. No thank you, Travis. Thanks, <laughs>